third type of STEM club that you can host is doing a school-wide news club. Again, this is one of the most favorite clubs I have ever, ever, ever hosted. It was like having my own class again, which is why I think I liked it because I had my same group of kids. I thought of the idea one day when I was walking my dog, Frederick, and it popped into my head and I figured out how I was going to do this. My biggest challenge was that I didn't want to be going live every day because for me, that was my planning time and I needed my plan time to plan. And And then here in Colorado, that you get snow days, we get a delayed start, and I didn't want the news to be dependent on weather and kids getting there. So I figured out a whole system of how to have the news pre-recorded so my students would only come on Mondays, and then it would be the way we scheduled it out, everything was ready to go for the next week or so. The first year, I only had a recording team of kids. I had 40 kids, so they I split them into two groups, and we alternated weeks. And it grew so much in popularity. The kids absolutely loved it. I had little kids begging me to be on the news. The following year, it doubled. I had 80 kids sign up. So I had about... 60 kids on my recording team and 20 on my editing. No, that's not true. I had 50 in my recording and then 30 in my editing. So we would record on Mondays. I had three groups of 20 and then we edited on Tuesdays. I had three groups of 20. And then um, the way I scheduled it out, um, they all had the same amount of time to be in the club. So it was a whole lot of fun. We had a logo. We had a brand. We had a whole brand about it. It was a huge privilege to be on it, kind of in a lot of ways like student leadership, but in a different form. Um, The kids were literally obsessed. So was I. I did have teachers help me with this one and help guide the news, but it was a whole lot of fun and very informative. We actually informed the school about what was happening. (laughs) It wasn't just random, oh, what's the sports for today? Like we actually kept up with what was happening in the school. What was the current events of elementary school life? So I'm going to share with you, that's a whole snapshot of what we did, but I'll share with you how I set this up. So join that wait list at naomimeredith.com slash news wait list.